This Ferguson street has taken on symbolic importance to those outraged by police shootings of unarmed African Americans in the U.S. People of all colors gathered here to remember Michael Brown Jr. a year after his death, including a mime troupe with this message for the town's youth. You don't have to fight. You don't have to burn down your city. Go another way out. Do something positive. Brown's father, Michael Brown Sr., came back to the spot where his 18-year-old son died on August 9, 2014. I mean, I mean, the loss remains fresh for this still grieving father. It's back to, this just happened to me. You know, I'm just being honest with you. Brown was walking in the middle of this street with a friend when Officer Darren Wilson approached in his patrol car. Words were exchanged. Moments later, a confrontation between a cop and a teenager turned deadly. The reaction in Ferguson and beyond was swift and sometimes destructive. No justice, no peace, protesters chanted. More race riots erupted in 2015 over other incidents. Many criminologists question the way police treat African Americans. Being told this horrible thing happened now, let's wait and see, and it may be a couple of years, um, ends up being tremendously unsatisfying when you want justice. Oh, we fed up! Can't take it no more! We the desire for justice is still written in Michael Brown Sr.'s face. He led a parade in memory of his son and other police shooting victims. He also spearheaded a national campaign to require U.S. police officers to wear body cameras. It's on us, but it's, it, it, it's on the whole city, though. We all got to stand up and do something, try to do, make a change going forward towards positive things. You know, we tired, man. One local resident worries about complacency setting in. She says this event should have been much, much larger. So I'm just a little bit disappointed and very heartbroken because this is what happens. We have this big surge of, oh, everybody's angry. Oh, everybody's going to do something. Oh, everybody's going to march. And then here we are a year later and like, what, it's OK now? Got to keep working, she says. On this one-year anniversary weekend, many recognize how many problems remain and that the road to reform will be long. Hendrick Sabrandi, CCTV, Ferguson, Missouri.